But yeah, with that out of the way. <clears throat> sorry. Oh, sorry. Uh, I was saying let's press full. full. Right. Well, <laughs> with that, with that done, uh, and no additional water. Yeah. The party elects to perhaps move on from this place mm -hmm. after a nice long rest, not eating any animals, haven't gone hunting. Because you wouldn't want to, you wouldn't want to hunt animals that are near here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So very true. And uh, and so, uh, continuing on trying to find the uh, the path to uh, to this this alleged uh, camp. Uh, yeah, let's uh, just see how long that's gonna take. Can we do like a uh, like survival tracking, I guess I'll allow that. Sure. Uh, yes. He sounds so enthused. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I think he'll probably try roll a reroll on that. Roll. His daily reroll. Roll twice, take the high result. Well, I guess it's <laughs> 11. Yeah, he's so lucky. He's he's worried for his friend. You saw his friend fucking fall into the slime uh, and fest. Luckily, blood. luckily, it's uh, it's challenging, and that's fine. Uh, oh, so, God. so yeah, manages to go on for a little bit until you are beset by a giant pack of shadow cats. You are now all dead. Giant. To the point where he basically like stops you and uh, and says, uh, I, "According to this, I can't remember his voice, but according to this, uh, like this information, it should be just a little bit ahead. It should be a cave, a little bit up a sort of a, a hill. There's a, there's a, gonna be some some cliffs and rocks." And then there's going to be a side that is halfway collapsed. Allegedly, there was before a, a weeping wall, like the one we were gathering water at some days ago. But it collapsed, and behind it, they found a reservoir. So, yeah, it will be uh, some some flat ground where they will be able to look down from above, and then we'll have to move up the, the crumbled rocks and hill, and sort of the, the rock slide hill, to get to the cave. Bree winces, looking over at Oaf Magoo and Oaf McGee. <laughs> Ren's getting a similar look from this side. <sighs> Let's get through it then. Well, Lord Commander of the Armies of the Marshes and Sir Cousin, this camp may certainly hold uh, not just supplies that we need to continue here in the mountains, but also uh, more valuable information as well. If we could somehow get access to any of those underground tunnels, that might be worth saying that we've accomplished our goals here and can prepare another expedition later. Certainly it would be valuable information for the Karens as well. You don't have to remind me why I need to go up that. I... <sighs> is there, looking down like the, the row of the oafs at Given, is there no other reasonable way to get the Lord Commander and big bastard up there? This, well, according to this, it's not really a climb as much as just a strong incline that can be a bit difficult to traverse. <laughs> Perhaps there would be a, another way, but... Well, well, you two are strong. It's more the concern that we're going to be crossing in flat terrain where they could see us. I... Perhaps a distraction could be made. She scratches her head, or... Ah... I don't know. Yeah, and when we take it, Kieran says, we'll have that advantage. They might come more of them looking for shelter. We'll know by a, an eagle, allegedly. 
You can ambush them. Ah. It's very wise. I like yeah. you. Kevin looks proud. Should be helpful. With his survival knowledge of this place. With um, Alaric's um, tactical know-how, does he reckon that he could somehow draw the uh, the vultures that are in, for lack of a better word, uh, their roost, out of there and into the more open area and spring a trap? How would he do that? Um, that's, that's why I'm thinking, like, something... That if one of their uh, one of their scouts spotted would call the others to come and investigate, and I'm not sure what that would be, but perhaps a Laric would know. <laughs> maybe, <sighs> maybe it's in some of his new oh. books that he's been reading. If recently, they, if they spotted him, they would probably go investigate. There's more things the vultures might be interested in. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, the book of things vultures might be. Volume like one. <laughs> vultures like like carrion, huh? Oh, all right. I, I, Dead the bodies. I uh. Repiped up says, I have an idea for a distraction. They like to capture those they see of value for ransom and they have shown a great interest in noble women if they spot me alone they might come down to investigate to take me prisoner Yeah, Alaric Lar- Lar- doesn't look impressed, but... Unless you can think of a better way to somehow catch them off guard, commander of the armies of the marshes. He kind of scowls at Brie for that. He says, uh... I can't stand in their place. They'll just shoot me on sight. They do the same for Varen. Varen does move. First time, really, she's actually used his his actual name. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, oh, I, I. I know. <laughs> he, he moves far quicker than you, uh, Sir Cousin. Although he could get to the steep incline and quickly make his way up, uh, you are not as quick. And certainly they have shown a keen interest in downing you. It's more out of the hope that to get them off of their vantage point, or some of them at least. I doubt all of them will come after a little girl. No. They might have to meet. Are you sure you want to risk yourself, my lady? He says, it's not much of a risk after all. You, Keevan will certainly be able to shoot no matter what distance he's at, and he's proven himself very capable, I am confident that whoever comes down after me, assuming they have interest in coming down after me to ransom me, that uh, I'll be fine. The smile is gone. How um, how wide is the uh, the clear area? Like how large is it? Pretty wide. There, there are some rock formations near there, but uh, well, it's good. like fifty meters. Fifty. Fuck. Over there, and that's two, two rounds to get up there. That's if he doesn't slip on the <laughs> incline and smash his face open. You know? Well, Alaric's going to take a decade to get up there. Mm-hmm. We'd need to bring them down. Go slow. You can go and check how steep the incline is first. I presume rather steep. Yeah, just 
check it and see how hard it would be to run up it. And my thought is perhaps if I can get their scouts' attention just by possibly standing and watching and then uh, once perhaps I see a figure leave then I can move on to a uh, to a more defensible and smaller location than a wide open area for archers to, to the concerns Sir Cousin I think that because they hold that advantage that they have with the water that they might just not come down without good reason could they just stay up there Certainly longer than we can stay down here. Yeah. He shrugs. It's not really my thing, Sir Cousin. But they have water and we don't. Yeah. Uh... So, out of character, the plan I kind of have in my head is if we have Bree... Uh, it's basically as bait. If we can get Varen and possibly Alaric and Ren as close as possible. Alaric just because if he's going to fight in the center he needs to, you know, get there within some year. Um, <laughs> Before and, dawn rises. Yeah. Before and, the next winter. <laughs> <laughs> and Varen needs to scale something rather tall and possibly quite steep in a short amount of time and Bree possibly doing the same because she's fast as well so while well, Ren uh, Alaric and so Erlin can hold the plateaued area while Keevan shoots everyone pew, pew. that's generally my idea I'm thinking. Um, how to position that? I'm sure Alaric could tactically position it all, but getting Alaric... It'd probably, it'd probably help to see it first, so that you yes, exactly position it. Yes, definitely. Yeah. Um, or just enough information from Keevan. Because generals, general, uh, generals generally just have their scouts information and they work from that um, but either way and then if we can get the big guys at least as close as possible to the to the vault uh, to the vultures roost up there then it could work yeah, we need to head there first though. Yeah, we need to head there first and check it out, so we can, so that we can see the the plane of of hell, mm -hmm. the no yeah. man's land. Yeah, so we can create some form of tactic in no a no man's land. That, uh... There we go. Well, ha have Keevan show us the plane. We won't step onto the plane. Yet. God no, <laughs> no, 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 no. We're like peeking around corners. Yes, we're all like stacked on top of each other. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> all Scooby Doo style, you know. <laughs> oh, I feel wow, like okay. I thought. I feel like we've this seen <laughs> this place. Hmm. I don't know. What, I don't know what you guys are talking about. Gogo, have you ever seen this place before? <laughs> no, never. Gogo's interesting. Okay. He's all of the episodes. I... He's seen it before. Our characters haven't seen it before. Alright, uh, alright, alright. So. You have the cave and uh, the incline here. How steep's the incline? Looking. Uh, like, you look for an ankle or. Uh, is is it Varen run up a It is more of a scramble than a run. Okay. Okay. Like, it's, it's helping with your hands and such. It's not really. Like, no one's built a stair. 
or anything. Yeah. So it's more like a certainly not something a wagon can get up. A horse could not get up there. Uh, it's a man who's like. Yeah. Okay. You can probably have like you're big enough that you can probably hold your weapon in one hand still, and then like use one hand to help get up there. A horse can't get up there. You clearly have not played Skyrim. <laughs> 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 a horse would ride on top and then drop down and die as the person walks in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, well, it's because the player at the wrong angle to get to. All right. So I'm seeing if we could get. Um, how are Laura and Varen here? Because Varen can make this slope in one sprint if he's here. Also, you can be behind any of these rock formations. Oh, can okay. We... So if we're here, no, that would be so, great. Yeah, right ahead. And yeah. then uh, arch over here. Yeah, yeah. So can we, like, position us? Yeah, sure. To make it easy. So very stealthily make your way there yeah even though not all of us are still oh i can't i'd put sir uh, erlin here with uh keevan sure he has uh, a spear still no armor though that's fine hey, you know i have no armor what's he complaining he about one of the mm. breastplates that the like guys had they didn't mm. have breastplates no. didn't they Most um of and brie maybe like Comes out of this, uh, this rock formation, away from everyone else. So then we kind of ambush them as they come down, come from their that's, backs. That's what the master tacticians thinks. Uh, she is going to volunteer to still be wearing her armor, as, as much as it might help to sell her act without it. Mm -hmm. She can just choose to look awkward at it and hope that the darkness works in her favor so they can't make it out too well from where they are. Because she doesn't feel like taking it off and then having an arrow like to her unprotected body. Like, mm -hmm. she's seen how these arrows work. The, do the, doctor, yeah. does, the doctor would not recommend that either. No. <laughs> Zero out of ten doctors. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so... Is this uh, where you want me to drop me over here, or drop me to like be towards the back, protect everyone else? Um, no, I think over here is good. I I want you there. We can you can rush up basically. Here or yeah, that uh like Ren and Varen swap basically. Okay. Okay. If, even though he's the faster one. <laughs> yeah. Well, I want him to go ar around this way instead of around this way. Alright, uh, yeah, come over here. Way. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Um, well, he, he's gonna go before me though, so if you want him to go that way, it's, it's not gonna it's be true, it's true. I'm, I will very likely punish him. Yeah. So if Bree can like wander out like hereish, maybe just somewhere in the center. Um, if and you, look if you do not, uh, if you do not bring uh, bring light, it will count as being shadowy. There is a moon out tonight. Okay. Uh, I need to remember what, what we do? light does. It's minus one die to uh, my, my penalty die to all agility, athletics, awareness, fighting, and theory tests, but minus two to marksmanship. So it'll get harder to get up the incline, but they will have a less chance of shooting you. Yeah. Right. Unless they have the dark eyes like Kevin does. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, also, it's just that all of them don't. Does Ren have <laughs> uh, two to the poppies? Uh, Ren could not afford any such. We do have two in reserve from Keevan's inventory. Okay, because we could probably uh, do with that. They're, if they're the only ones we have for the rest of the entire trip. They're the only milk of the poppies we'll have. Yeah, up to the commander. Because Keevan only has those two left. We are allowed <laughs> to use them. Jonas gave us permission. If if we if if we use them now for this fight, they. I'm hedging the bets that the information we need to call this mission a success is in there. Um, yeah, it certainly might be. That's no, the most honest decision. It's the only milk of the poppy we've got, though. I'm hedging my bets on that. Let's use the milk of the poppy. We need our fighters. Okay. Their best. Okay, I'll message Jonas. A two milk of the poppy were expended. Yeah. Whereas a failure to take the elevated position could have uh, disastrous impacts on us being able to make it out of the mountains. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 
Let me just double check any. Let me just double check his. I mean, in, we we have to take this position for just supplies. End of. Because we're basically out, so this this has right. to be a last ditch like, effort. Yes, so. we'll we'll need the supplies to get out of the mountains, if nothing else. So <laughs> yeah, or just to survive to the next cache. So it's yeah, we we need this, uh, so no doubt about it. Die. I mean, yeah, if we don't need it, we could have destiny influence us, but uh, uh, yeah, but it's, it, it helps the immersion. Yes, definitely. <laughs> this is it. This is all we have. Is this or we're fucked? Yeah, this is this is all we fucked. But you know, if we're fucked, then you know, we've we've got destiny to spend. <laughs> so those, those Dornish men can get off their destiny. Yeah. Oh, that's, okay. the, that's the sort of the the, the treacherous terrain, so mm -hmm. to speak. It's Takes covered double, in oil. Double, <laughs> double movement to move within it. Uh, double movement cost. Um and. Before we do any in net initiative, I'll be doing the tactics thing. Anyway. Yep, right. So, Certainly sounds like that's what you've been doing right now. Uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, Sir Erlin would like to not charge this position, just protect the <laughs> Kievan. It's I am cool with that. Doesn't feel quite up for it. Yeah, I'm alright with that. Uh, Let me just roll I'm the... not wearing armor either, I don't know what you're talking about. Let me just roll the tactics. That's two degrees again. Why, why are we rolling for initiative now? Like, we're not fucking, like, in, going We're gonna be in initiative. Just, I... Two bonus die for when initiative is rolled. Right. Your tactics have been put in, are being put in place. Yes, my tactics have been put in place. Already. Okay. Alright. Um, I guess... 